Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the intro for the project polish for 2021 for you guys. Um, I've decided again to go with three polishes as my main focus and kind of just roll through them once I use one of them up. Um, and then I have two glitters or toppers basically that I put together with them. Um, just to keep the polishes a bit interesting and see like how I work through those within a year's time as well. Um, yeah, nothing much more to say about this, so let's get started. Um, I went with three polishes that I feel like are like fitting enough for this time of the year still, but hopefully can kind of roll into spring with me as well. Um, first of them being this polish from Orly. Um, this one is called It's Not Rocket Science. It's kind of from their, they have like a rocket space type collection. Um, this one is a green but it also has glitter in it and there is like some blue teal type glitters and some gold so it kind of is uh, multi-chrome. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, I am about here right now so I still have a lot to go in here. These are 18 mils which is um, 0 0.6 fluid ounces so the early polishes are pretty big ones. Um, it's gonna take me a little while to get through this but I know this is a fun one for like it's dark enough for winter but the multi-chrome and all those effects come out even better when the sun starts shining so I'm looking forward to also wearing it kind of in springtime and maybe summertime depending on that how all of that will go. Um, so that one first and then I guess I was in a bit of a Christmas mood when I picked these polishes because I have a, uh, a green and a, a red. Um, this is the very well known, at least to me, um, Ruby Palms China Glaze Nail Polish. Really is one of my favorites. Um, as you can see, I've kind of organically already used it a fair bit. I am about here right now on this one. And I just love this. It's like a red base with like red, um, very shiny all over the place, glitters in it as well. I love this one. So yeah, that is uh, the other one that I'm going to be working on. And then one is a uh, kind of an, an old friend <laughs> in this uh, project. This polish, as you can see from the markings of here, has already been in this project before, I think two years ago now. Um, and I felt like this was a perfect one kind of to also go, like it's a kind of a champagne-y color. I think I wore it around like New Year's time or it was in my Christmas nail polish, my Christmas manicure as well. Um, but yeah, I think that this is like, it's a nice like neutral one so it works anytime and it does have a kind of like multi-chrome which only really shows when uh, the sun is shining or the light hits it the right way. So it's, it's really fun to kind of take into spring as well. Um, and because I'm already kind of halfway I think. It looks lower than halfway but it's it's wider at the bottom of course so I'm hoping I can kind of like roll this one out as one of the first ones and then soon enough roll in kind of like a pastel type shade for spring because um, I have a lot of like bigger polishes left. Um, I wanted to make sure I can at least roll something out so this one I hope is perfect for that and the china glaze are like 14 mils so they're four mils less than the early one even though they, yeah, I guess they, they look kind of similar in size, but the early one is definitely bigger. This is 0 0.5 fluid ounces, so it's 0 0.1 fluid ounce difference between those two. Um, considering that I've already used up half of this one, this is about 7 mils left, which is like a, a normal like Essence or Catrice type polish most of the time. Um, talking about Catrice, the one of the toppers that I'm bringing in is the Catrice Cosmetics Million Styles Effect Top Coat in Have an Ice Day. Also this one is a multi-chrome, like the glitters, it looks very like silvery, but the glitters are like all over the place, there's yellow, blue, red, everything uh, in there, so um, yeah, that I'm very curious to see how that will look over different polishes. Maybe not so much these three because they're already glitters and they already have all those effects, so my toppers might only come into play kind of around springtime when I start to roll in new polishes. Um, this one actually is 10 mils, so it's still big enough, 0 0.33 fluid ounces. Um, and then one that I was in last year and I just want to keep working on is the China Glaze uh, topper in white cap. Um, this one of course is also 14 mils but also for this one we're pretty much halfway already so there is 
seven-ish mils left in this one as well. Um, and this is just a like very sheer white base um, with, with golden glitters in it or shimmer, I should even say. It's very fine. Um, yeah, so that is that one and it's also going to roll in. Sadly enough, I do not have a nail wheel for these at the moment. I still need to buy one. So hoping that maybe by the time this video goes up, I can paint my nails some of these colors and I can just do a close up of my, the nail polish on my fingers to show you guys. Um, you will see if that worked out or not by the time this video goes up. Um, but yeah, that is it for today. Um, I'm excited to start working on these. Um, I think probably at the start I will wear these two a little bit more and kind of use this every now and then, but I'm probably guessing the closer we get to spring the more I will start using this because I will feel a bit more like the lighter color, even though like these are, they're like bright and fun enough for that time. But I can imagine me wearing this one more towards springtime and then hopefully rolling it out soon enough and not only at the middle of the year. I did consider rolling in like a darker polish as well. Like right now it's not on very nicely anymore, but I'm wearing a really dark blue. But I guess like if I want to work on a polish like this, because this is also a China glaze, I'm going to have to roll it in like October, November time in my previous year's project and then roll it over into the new year for me to actually be done with it around springtime because I won't really feel like wearing this anymore when it's spring and summertime, of course. Um, so yeah, that is it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye.